Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've got a random makeup haul. Uh, some things I purchased, some things I actually received in PR, which is amazing and still incredibly shocking to me. Uh, but if you'd like to see what I've picked up and what I've received over the past week, couple weeks or so, then just keep on watching. I placed an order on BergdorfGoodman.com because they were having a beauty bag event where the beauty bag was actually decorated with an illustration by Donald Robertson, who is uh, that illustrator that I adore. And he did the artwork for the Rodin Mermaid Glow collection. So I mentioned him in that video. It's the same artist and they were having this beauty bag event and I could not pass it up, but you had to purchase, I think two, I think it was either 250 or 275 for the bag. And I was like, I'm sure I could get that. So I purchased the La Mer um, Essence In Foundation. It's that kind of cushiony kind of foundation. I got it in the shade Pure Ivory N20 and it has an SPF 25. So here is the actual cushion. It comes in this pretty La Prairie box and it comes also with an extra cushion, which is nice. And here is the actual cushion. So I received this uh, at least a couple days ago. So I'm actually testing it right now. <laughs> so you'll be seeing a foundation wear test for this particular foundation very, very soon. I am liking it a lot, a lot. So I'm excited about that. I also decided to pick up the La Prairie Light Fantastic Cellular Concealing Brightening Eye Treatment. This is like, uh, like a concealer pen. I am not going to spoil it, but this is gonna be part of my concealer week that I'm kind of gearing up to do. I'm gathering all the concealers that I wanna cover. You'll see, I think another one, yeah, you'll see another one that I'm gonna be covering uh, during concealer week in this haul. Uh, so I'm not gonna open up this box just yet. We'll do that during concealer week. And La Prairie was giving out a little gift with purchase. So I got this very large uh, Skin Caviar Luxe Sleep Mask. And here is the little uh, Skin Caviar Luxe Sleep Mask. So excited to give this a shot. I don't normally do overnight masks because I just feel like it would get everywhere, but I'm willing to give it a shot for La Prairie. <laughs> so here is the beauty bag that I wanted. So again, the illustration is by Donald Robertson and there's even like a little illustration on the back. This is uh, Linda Fargo, who is the fashion director for Bergdorf Goodman. She is one of my style icons. She's wonderful. And so I couldn't, I couldn't pass up this little bag. So I have to say, I was very, very pleasantly surprised by what was included in this beauty bag because I was just completely focused on the bag itself. Uh, but inside, just to kind of quickly go over this, I have uh, a Dr. Barbara Sturm anti-aging body cream. Really nice, nice big size. I also got a nice, um, it's like a deluxe sample size of the Francis Kirkjian Aqua Celestia Forte uh, perfume. This is one I really wanted to try, so I'm very excited. I'm not sure if that's pronounced Celestia or Celestia. Please correct me down below if you know. I also got a Derm Institute Youth Alchemy Eye Cream, I'm guessing. It just says Youth Alchemy Eye on the cover there. I'm gonna guess that that's an eye cream. There's also an Armani Cremonera Extrema uh, Volume Reshaping Eye Serum. There's also an Estee Lauder uh, Perfectionist Pro like treatment. Ooh, there's also a Shantikai Gold Recovery Mask. This is actually a mask that I wanted to try, so I'm happy to have this little sample size. Uh, a Sulwasu First Care Activating Serum EX. A Clé de Peau uh, Soap, <laughs> which is very interesting. Uh, there's also an Amoravixa Firming Night Cream, this really beautiful deluxe sample size. A teeny tiny Tom Ford True Coral Lipstick. What is this? Eight Greens. Oh, I guess this is uh, something. Oh, this is like a tablet that you drop into some water. It's almost like an Alka-Seltzer, but um, a healthy one. The Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. The Orbe Repair and Restore Shampoo, the Gold Lust Shampoo. A Lancome Mascara Base. And then a La Mer Moisturizing Soft Cream, like Deluxe Sample. And something from Revive, Glycolic Renewal Peel. So step one is the actual glycolic pad. And then step two is this Renewal Gel, which I guess would soothe your skin after that. I cannot use anything like a glycolic anything. 
on my face. So I actually have a friend that I think would appreciate this. So that's what was in the bag. I think those samples are pretty awesome. I usually just get really, well, actually, I got a gift bag from Neiman Marcus, which I'll show you in a bit. It really, really kind of sad, sad little samples <laughs> inside. But anyway, we will get to that. Let me just throw all this stuff back in here. All right, so that's what I got at uh, Bergdorf. And then from Neiman Marcus, I purchased a lot of really kind of random random stuff i have to say when i shop in person i buy very very different things than when i shop online i feel like when i shop online i can get really focused i sit there and i like go through my cart over and over again i like edit it out i add stuff i take stuff away and when i shop in person it's just sort of like i don't know it's more like whimsical so i just end up with like really random stuff so anyway the rest i think the rest of the stuff i bought in person so it's going to be kind of odd um <laughs> So the first two things I got at Neiman Marcus are two things from Chanel. I purchased the base and the top coat nail polish things. So this is La Base. It's protective and smoothing, which was what was very appealing to me. So it's this one that comes in the frosted bottle. Um, I have uh, like little ridges in my nails. Um, I take multivitamins and they definitely are a little bit better, especially when I take like hair and nail vitamins they definitely get a little bit better um but they're they're there and they'll always be there so i like nail polish uh base coats or primers to have that kind of like filling quality to them so anyway i was with a friend and she highly recommended this she also highly recommended the chanel top coat which is quick dry and shine and she's like it doesn't matter what nail polish i use in between she's like if i use that base and then i use that top coat she's like my nail polish lasts like longer than anything ever will. I'm like, okay, I'm sold. So uh, this is what the top coat looks like. This is the one that comes in the like solid black bottle. So I'm gonna give it a shot. We will see. In fact, I will probably give it a shot this afternoon because I need to do my nails again. I purchased a couple things from the Guerlain counter. I got the, what is this called? The Tinted Skincare Jelly Sunkissed Bare Skin Effect. And I got it in medium. Uh, they had light and medium. The light was almost imperceptible. So the light is great if you have very, very fair skin. The medium, I would say, works if you have my complexion and maybe just a little bit darker. It is kind of buildable, but I wouldn't use a product like this to be buildable. It's not really the point. I would use something different. So this is what the bottle looks like. This is the box that it came in. And let me just squeeze some out. So it's like, oh, some has come out. It's like a jelly uh, or gel. That's what it looks like. And it just blends out really, really evenly and smoothly. So you just get this nice kind of hint of a bronze. So I'm going to give that a shot. I think it'll just give my face just you know a little bit of color that it needs sometimes and I have the Tom Ford bronzing gel so I was a little like oh I don't know if I need this and then when I actually swashed it on my hand I was like okay I need this because the Tom Ford bronzing gel is much more potent like you need a little bit and then you have to like blend it out all over your face so it's a little bit for me it's a little bit fussier this seems a little bit more goof proof so I wanted to give this a shot and then I also got the um, limited edition terracotta root de eel. I'm totally slaughtering that. But this is the box that it comes in. And this is the bronzer that Guerlain comes out with in the wood packaging. So this is what the compact looks like. And this is all wood. And the uh, sales associate at Guerlain was telling me that in the past, the lid was only magnetized, um, almost like an inglot. And he said that people really were complaining about that. So they added a hinge. So now it hinges open as well. So here is the bronzer. There's a mirror inside, getting hinged, and it's also magnetic. It has like a really, really awesome beachy smell. And in fact, they come out every summer with a limited edition uh, perfume that smells just like this compact. And I got a little um, sample of it because it does smell exactly like the compact. It smells like the beach. It smells like suntan lotion, but I wanted to see if it was going to react to my skin 
and change at all, but I did wear it all day and it did smell exactly like this by the end of the day. So I may get it. It's just heavenly. I mean, you are instantly transported to the beach. So there's a compass design on the pan. So that gold that you see is overspray, but there is quite a bit of overspray. So the sales associate was telling me that overspray will probably last about 20 applications. And then the peach in the middle there goes all the way through. So he says the peach is there just to kind of swirl with the bronzer if you want to make it a little bit lighter, if you just want to focus on that center part to use it more as like a blush. It's very versatile, he was telling me. So anyway, I was completely sold simply on the packaging and the scent. It's so good. So that's what I picked up at Neiman Marcus and I ended up getting this uh, beach tote as a gift with purchase, which is a really nice tote. It has these like rope handles, which is really cool. So these are the sad little samples that they were offering with part of this gift with purchase. I really like the tote bag. They have the Hair Ritual by Sicily, the Revitalizing Volumizing Shampoo, which I wanted to try, so I am excited for that. They did include the Francis Kirkjian Baccarat Rouge 540, which is a fragrance I do love and I don't own, so I'm happy to have that. The Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara, and then a perfume or cologne from Lalique little sample of that. So that was what was included in this little beach bag um, beauty event giveaway. And then I went to Nordstrom and I stopped by the Bobbi Brown counter and they were also doing um, an interesting little giveaway. Like if you spent a hundred dollars, they gave you a choice of these different like brightening bricks and other kind of glow powders that they had. So I ended up getting the Bobbi Brown Instant Full Cover Concealer in the color Cool Sand. So this is another one that's gonna be part of my concealer week, so I'm not gonna unbox this now. And I also picked up the Bobbi Brown Beige Gold Nourishing Lip Color Oil Infused Shine. This is so right up my alley. You guys know that I love like the tinted balm kind of lipstick idea and that I love gold lips. <laughs> so this is what the packaging looks like, typical Bobbi Brown. And then here is the lipstick. There is a swatch of it. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. I have a little bit of lip gloss left on my lips, but I think I'm just gonna put this on right now. Oh uh, yeah. I love it. That is the beige gold. So I was talking to the uh, sales associate at the Bobbi Brown counter, and she said that they got rid of this whole line of Bobbi Brown that was just like shimmer colors. And their answer was to keep this one and you could use this as a topper to any of your lipstick shades and just turn it into a shimmery shade which I thought, okay, that makes sense. And then I pre-ordered something that they didn't have in stock, and so then I made it to the $100 mark. I'm trying to remember what I pre-ordered. Oh, I pre-ordered uh, the Bobbi Brown tweezers because the Bobbi Brown tweezers are made by my favorite tweezer company, which is Rubis, based in Switzerland, and uh, I never knew that. So the sales associate was like, oh yeah, they're made by Rubis, and I was like, what? I'm like, I need those tweezers ASAP. So anyway, she had run out because my friends that I was with, they were like, oh, are they really great? I was like, you must get. So there was only two left. Um, they took one each. And so I pre-ordered one since I have like five Rubis tweezers hanging around this house somewhere. So anyway, I made it to the $100 mark. And so I could pick out a brightening brick. So I got brightening brick color pink. The other two that they were offering I either had or it was like totally the wrong color for me. So I decided to go for this one. It's really, really pretty. I'm just going to kind of swirl my finger in all of these and give you a swatch. So I think that'll make a really nice uh, shimmery blush or a nice blush topper. So that along with this uh, little travel pouch was the free gift over at Bobbi Brown slash Nordstrom. So uh, I wasn't that jazzed about this when she threw it in the bag. I was like, okay, whatever. But when you open it up, it actually like flips open and you have little slots for brushes in there. And then there's like a little zipper pouch. So I thought that was really cool. Um, I thought it was just this little pouch here. So I got excited when I saw spaces for brushes. It's the little things. And then I also picked up at Nordstrom this uh, Trish McAvoy brush. And this actually reminds me, I need to do a brush haul for you guys because I've 
been accumulating quite a few brushes and I've been playing around with quite a few brushes. So anyway, I have to do that, but let me just mention this one now. This is the Trish McAvoy 55 Deluxe Blender Brush. So here is the Trish McAvoy brush. These hairs are sable hair, which are incredibly soft, but they're very, very uh, stiff. And so they blend, they pick up product really well. I just, I really like the way sable hair works. And this is a super old Armani brush. This is one of their original brushes made with sable hair. And they don't make this brush anymore because they've changed over to synthetic hairs. So um, I've been holding onto this brush for dear life. It's still fine. It still works great. I probably have had this brush for... Uh, more than 10 years, definitely more than 10 years. I want to say around 15 years I've had this brush. It's still great, but I wanted a backup and I wanted one that I could use when this one was dirty. So, um, so I picked up the Trish McAvoy because it literally is almost identical. So I'm very excited about that. And it's nice to feel one that's brand new because this being so old, it's starting to feel a little, a little rough around the edges. So I also picked up something at Sephora. They were having a deal that if you purchased $35 or more on their site, that you could pick out um, a deluxe sample of the Dior Backstage Foundation. So I wanted to do a foundation uh, wear test of this foundation, but I just wasn't sure. I, I didn't know what shade to get, all these things. I was watching Puffin's Wife's review and she said that they lean really warm, that she got one end and that was like maybe even a little bit too deep for her. I think that's what she said. At least I think that's what she said. Um, I like watched so many in a row, I'm not even sure anymore. But anyway, I got it in my head that one end was the foundation color that I was gonna order when I was gonna order it. Um, but then I thought, oh my gosh, is it gonna be too dark? So I decided to get the one end in the deluxe sample just to test out before I kind of committed to the large um, the large regular size. So I got the 1N Dior Backstage Deluxe Sample from Sephora. I'm gonna be doing a foundation wear test with this. But what I purchased to get that was the Dior Radiance Mist Primer and Setting Spray Long Lasting Airbrushed Radiance. So this sounded really awesome to me. This was sitting in my cart. I was like, I am definitely gonna get this when the rest of the Backstage collection is launched on Sephora. And then when I watched Puffin's wife's video, she was like, oh my God, this is amazing. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get this so that I can get the little sample guy and we'll call it a day. So I got this and I haven't used it yet, but here is what the bottle looks like. It's like a shaky, shaky, shaky one. So I think it's, um, yeah, so it's like an aerosol can. So I will probably do like a get ready with me with like new products and kind of try a whole bunch of stuff that I've picked up lately um, and include this in there. And then for once I felt like Sephora was having some decent reward point rewards. So I picked up the, for a hundred points I believe, the Lancome Monsieur Big Waterproof Mascara. I really want to try that waterproof mascara trick that helps your lashes stay curled. I think Wayne Goss, yeah, I think it was Wayne Goss. He did like a whole uh, video on that where you put the waterproof mascara down, you curl your eyelashes, then you put regular mascara, something like that. Anyway, I don't have any waterproof mascara, so I decided to pick this up, give that a try. And they also had this in the rewards bazaar. This is the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream Facial Moisturizer. So it's like this little deluxe sample. I generally can't use Drunk Elephant stuff because they have a lot of ingredients in there that my sensitive skin reacts to, but this seemed to just be like a moisturizing cream. I don't believe it has any acids or anything like that in here, so I thought I would give this a shot. And then the last thing I wanna show you is a PR package, and this is from M Cosmetics, which is Michelle Fan's um, cosmetics company, and they came out with a line of true glosses. So these are lip glosses. Look at this amazing package. I think this is like my first like true honest to goodness PR package. Like I was so overwhelmed. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, I did a story <laughs> unboxing this and I tried one of the colors on. I'm planning on doing a video dedicated to these um, and just do a lip swatch for you just so you guys can get a better idea of all the colors. But let me just open this up for you. So there's this um, informational card on the inside. It has these beautiful models and it just sort of describes uh, the colors and it just kind of gives a little bit of detail on the true glosses. So they're not sticky at all. 
not sticky at all. I was actually very, very surprised when I put on the one color that I tried. Um, they launched June 11th, so they are available on mcosmetics.com, and there are 12 shades. And all 12 shades are so beautiful. I think there's a shade in here for everyone. Look at these colors. So the top row of colors are a little bit more sheer and the bottom row have a little bit more pigment, I believe. But again, I'm going to do a whole video dedicated to these and I'll do lip swatches. But I just, I love like the packaging. I love this like frosted um, bottle and I love this like gold tip on the packaging. So anyway, I was so thrilled, so, so thrilled to get these. You guys know how much I love lip glosses. So I was like, yes, I'm so excited. So I will be doing a video uh, dedicated to those. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for that. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Please let me know down below if there are any new things that you've picked up lately, anything that you've been loving that I need to run out and get, definitely let me know down below. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in my next video.